Welcome to the Caribbean. One of the best ways to see the most beautiful islands in this region is via a cruise holiday. We spent a week on board Piano Cruises Britannia, their flagship of the fleet, where you can relax in elegant surroundings, dine in more than 20 bars and restaurants, and be dazzled by fabulous entertainment. In this vlog, myself, Brogan, and my fiance, Benji, will be taking you along for our first four days to Barbados and Aruba, including a sea day in between. We share all the details that you need to know, including what life on board Britannia is like, and the best shore experiences. From the sports court to the ship's spa, p Cruises has got it all covered. This vlog is very kindly sponsored by them and we're honoured to be partnering again to share our trip. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and don't miss part two of this Caribbean cruise series. Enjoy the vlogs! Good morning everyone, it is 8am, we have just arrived at Gatwick, we are taking a chartered TUI flight with p Cruises this morning. We're just going to go check in, Benji's just sorting out the final bits of luggage down there. <laughs> Let's go to Barbados. It's time. It's cruise day. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? I'm gonna be really cringe and say like twelve. He was awake at three a.m. We and didn't I have did, to be up till half five. I didn't get back to sleep either. <laughs> so we're flying to Barbados today. We are getting on Britannia, and we're flying in premium with Tui. So uh, we've yeah, all checked nice. in. It was nice and smooth. We can get some breakfast somewhere. Have a little mood to the shops. Cider and eggs Benedict and Nueva spoons. Thank you very much. No matter what time it is, that's what you want. It is always. Yeah, <laughs> the rules. Let's go. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike in the wind of boats now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You you gotta understand that we get one. One chance, one chance, yo You will never regret the things that we'll do Cause I, I, I wanna try What a welcome, we can hear a still band We've just arrived, this is the check-in area We just didn't even have to go through the airport terminal We just went straight from the plane to a bus, straight to the here um, and then we're going to be getting on Britannia. I'm so excited. <laughs> so we've been checked for immigration. Now we go through security and then we get our cruise cards when we get on board. But yeah, it's really smooth, really easy. Everything's free flowing. Don't have to wait. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I will. Thank you. Yes, I want a cold flannel. How nice. Hello, hello. Oh, the red carpet, like, oh. <laughs> We're in the atrium. Oh, it's so pretty. Hi. First task is we are going straight to our muster station, which is on deck seven. We're checking into our muster station so that we know to where to go in the event of an emergency. Um, and then I think we watch the safety video in our room again. Yes. So we're just walking there now. I like that you just like get it ticked off and then we'll go to our room. It's us on the road. Exciting. You can go down to the cabin now and yeah. watch the safety video shown on your television. Perfect, Perfect. Thank, you. thank you. It's feeling familiar, isn't it? How long has it been? Two and a half years? It has, yeah. Almost three. Right, this is our room, 515. Our cruise cards are in here. Oh, there you go. There's some champagne and chocolate. Oh, yeah. I love it. Feels like we're home. We've watched the safety video. We've met our cabin steward. His name is Renz. He's lovely. And now I'm going to give you a really quick room tour. We have been on Britannia before and shown you, but for any of you that are new that have come across my videos and you want to see what Britannia looks like, then this is a balcony cabin so we're e515 we're on deck 10 we are in the middle of the ship and i'll tell you as we go through these vlogs um how we're finding the room and everything but full length mirror right at the front here which is amazing obviously that's the door and then when you shimmy round you've got this amazing wardrobe space which we absolutely utilize loads of space to put your shoes and luggage they even have a really good shelving storage system here with a safe which we love as well this is so handy so i'll show you this when we've unpacked this is the bathroom so we've got a shower 
and they have toiletries to the white company on the wall which is so lovely and i really love these shelves too they're very handy this is my fourth cruise and let me tell you i love having this sort of space this is actually better than a lot of hotel rooms that i stay in so this is great there's lots of room the shower's nice and big and it's lovely lighting in here as well this is the room the bed is so comfortable and the decor is just so sleek and lovely and modern i really love it it's just a really great size it's got everything we need nice little sofa over there we have a tv as well and then a little desk area with a mini fridge and then there's drawers by the side of the beds as well which are nice and deep yeah it's just so comfy and cozy but lots of space still i love that there's a mirror i can do my makeup and hair and stuff here this is the fridge if you were interested in seeing the size of it mini fridge and then this is our balcony but i'm going to show you it again in the morning because this is not going to do justice like this but benji's just chilling outside here on the balcony so we're here here in barbados i just wanted to quickly show you the things that we have on the desk here so we have the horizon which we'll show you as we go along benji loves looking through this and marking off what we're gonna do bingo, days. bingo all the activities all the information that you would need this little book which has got the map of britannia as this is our second time on board i don't think we'll need the map this time but it does have all the information for all the different restaurants and everything you might need to know about the ship itself we have our vouchers for some of the short experiences we're doing and that we've booked on so that's nice we've got a voucher to spend in the spa although i do already have a treatment booked we also have our allocated dining so we are on freedom dining which means that we can show up to either the meridian or the peninsula restaurant between 6 and 9 and 6 30 9 30 each restaurant slightly different and we can come at any time so i personally love freedom dining because then we're not restricted to like a time for our dinner um so that's good we are doing a couple of group meals with the press groups that we're with as well and then the last thing that they have on here is this sheet of paper which is a guide on how to access their online reservation digital planner so this is your pocket planner that you can use to book your restaurants your speciality dining um you can also book shows but we did a book a couple of things before um we came out so you can do some things in the back end of your booking as well but this is really easy to use you literally just scan the qr code so this is what it looks like you can see your onboard account you can look at your bookings so as you can see we've got some of our excursions in here i booked that the other day the limelight club um, uh, i've just booked afternoon tea so it's really easy to do we're just trying to decide what we want to do about dinner neither of us um are that fussed about going for like a big meal anywhere so it might be that we just go and explore see what's on the buffet and just have a leisurely evening really and then it starts properly tomorrow when we show you barbados we just came back down here <laughs> to get some content for a reel we're making and look can we just take a minute to appreciate this atrium this is a good place to start isn't it because you've obviously got your shops up there we could go and mooch the in the shops hub the central hub yeah here in the mornings and things like that. it is a good spot so we've got the re the shops up there they're open yeah. um and then upstairs we've got is the glass house up here i think yes. up there i think yeah. it might be up there where do you want to go mooch. you want to go for mooch all right let's just go okay so i thought i'd show you what one of the shops areas looks like shopping areas so they've got loads of lovely clothes and bags and jewelry that is lovely i like it's that really nice. i really like that really to find the kind of want that bench you. hang on let me try it on <laughs> hang on is it is it i don't know is it i like this is that a jumpsuit oh <gasps> it's a jumpsuit bench oh there's a dress too I try the jumpsuit. no i like the jumpsuit hang on let's have a look they've let me try the jumpsuit on in the bathroom and i kind of love it I have been on board five minutes and made a purchase <laughs> i love it though as soon as we saw it's it, it was really like, yeah. Fun. Okay, Horizon Restaurant. Let's go. We need to wash our hands before we go in. All right, so Ben just gone for a chili con carne. I'm surprised you didn't get any bread. I just wanted something just like nice and easy, you know? Yeah, and then I went for a mini sort of roast dinner i guess it's actually lamb gravy potatoes and a bit of veg the buffet is actually perfect for nights like this yeah. isn't it so i'm gonna eat this and let you know how we get on that dinner just hit the spot we're just walking past the pool which we'll show you 
soon, but the music, such a nice vibe and the colours are oh, lovely. We're officially in the Caribbean. This is the pool, all lit up, lovely. This is Brody's, the bar and pub, I guess. It's kind of a pub atmosphere, isn't it? And they do live music, they play sports here. Oh, here you go. It's quite a nice vibe. We're coming to get a drink. In fact, it's nice and busy in here. Wow. Pepsi Max, rock and roll. We just really fancy one. Cheers. <laughs> I love that they have Pepsi Max. Let's go to the room. <laughs> so you're already showered and in bed. I am. That's me. <laughs> Romeo done. Tomorrow we're in Barbados, so we're staying overnight. We're doing an excursion with the group. We're going on a boat of some description. A catamaran, I imagine. I don't know what we're doing in the evenings. We'll talk to you about it then. But this will be a big vlog with a few days mashed together in it. So we'll see you again in the morning. See you later. Good morning everyone from Barbados. We have been awake for about an hour. I'm going to come inside actually because the camera does not like the condensation. It is warm outside, so. That is a bit humid, isn't it? It is a little bit. The camera was all fogging up. But uh, anyway, we've been awake for about an hour. I'm thinking I'd like to get my stuff unpacked first. And then, because the suitcases arrived around 10 o'clock last night. And then we'll go up for breakfast and we're meeting our group at 10 a.m. because we're going on a catamaran excursion. Really looking forward to it. We did something similar the last time we were here in Barbados and we actually swam with turtles. So I'm keeping all my fingers crossed that we may see some animals in the sea today. But if not, I'm just really looking forward to getting in the sea and out in the sun. It looks like it rained overnight, but that's not gonna stop us going out today. Hopefully the sun shines for us and it should be a really lovely day. So let's get unpacked because I had to throw on this dress again from yesterday so let's get our clothes you slept like an absolute baby snoring I away did. i did sorry not sorry <laughs> the beds are so comfy um right let's get our stuff these are magnetic hooks and they're some of the best things we bring with us for cruising because the balls are metal and obviously they stick and then you get extra hooks in your cabin you're welcome I'm all ready for the day. We're gonna head off and go for breakfast in a minute, but I just thought I'd let you know that this is gonna be part one of two vlogs. We're gonna split it up and show you Barbados, We've got a sea day tomorrow, Aruba, so lots to show you, a few different shore experiences, different meals we're going to. We're gonna to go to Sindhu tomorrow. I think we're gonna try and do the glass house tonight. So make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss all our content and vlogs from this trip. And I'd love to have you here. We always have upcoming travels and trips going on as well. So we're nice and busy for the next six months. We've got quite a few other things going on. Let's go and have some breakfast in the restaurant, which is my favorite way to have breakfast on board because you can go to the buffet, it's just as great, there's loads of choice. If you're on the go or you're heading before a short experience, then a buffet breakfast is brilliant. But we love sitting down in the restaurant. We order an eggs benedict, we order hash browns and sausages, and it's so good. They have a really nice menu, but we'll show you that when we get down there, and you can just walk up to the restaurant. So before we leave, we thought we'd just show you what it looks like all unpacked. We've got our suitcases under the bed, our shoes lined up down there. We've got our clothes. There was not a chance I was doing that last night. No, you were so tired. I was asleep before the suitcases came You up. were. You were like, like, right, come on, Benji, you got to stay up with me. I'm like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You were snoring. And then this is my little outfit today. I'm wearing a play suit. I got this from a Stitch Fix box a while ago. I love it for holidays because it's super comfy and it's all one thing. Got my lanyard on. This is another cruise hack that I think everyone that goes on a piano cruises trip should have because you constantly need your cruise card to like pay for drinks or when you get on and off the ship. So yeah, I've got this around my neck because it's so handy. I don't wear it in the evenings and stuff, but during the day it's great. Uh, right, I think we're ready to go for breakfast now, finally. <laughs> we're in the restaurant. We're in a nice little corner. You can actually pick as much or as little as you like. So they've got fruit juices, yogurt, cereals, actual fruit um, salads and stuff. From the bakery, they've got all the different toasts and pastries, healthy options. The smash avocado is really nice, but we've also got a smoothie of the day, so we'll show you that. And then on the back, you've got the hot breakfast. So we've both gone for an eggs benedict, 
and we just add things on the side so you can sort of chop and change it however you like but yeah that's the menu also how can i forget i have a proper cup of tea as piano cruises cater for the british market and the british people so they have all of our favorite things like afternoon tea and actual proper cups of tea the strawberry and banana smoothie of the day is so good it's not too thick is it no it's really nice might have to order another one mm. it's the nicest thing isn't it though yeah just order as much as we want i've been excited for this for so long <laughs> He's got his breakfast. I always have it. And I've got the same, I've just got one with a hash brown and a sausage. I love it. Breakfast of champions. It is, it's great. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy. Okay, so we've just walked through the terminal area. I'm going to show you that when we come back. They've got loads of lovely shops and we want to get some Fanta and bits. Hopefully they have pin badges too. Um, but we're about to jump in our transfer and we're heading over to go on a catamaran. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'll show you when we get there. Of course he's found the bright shirts already. What a lovely shop. We'll have to have a little mooch after. It's our first shore experience of the trip. It is. Going on this room. I'm excited. I am too. So we're going on this one over here. Very nice. They have like the little mooch canopies at the front Ooh, as well. Yeah, and they've got like green bags. bags. What a treat. I'm excited. We are ready. We're hoping to see some turtles. Uh, well, maybe. I haven't seen any yet, but I haven't been in the water. So. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm excited to get out of there. Alright, let's go. I'm ready. Is the red light on? Yeah, the red light's on. This is, that's it. Is that butter? Yeah, gorgeous. Okay, I think we're good. Go on. Okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in? Yeah. All right, we're in. It's really warm. It feels like a bath. Yes, I'm Benj. We saw turtles. Oh, turtles. They did a little kiss and all. They were, weren't they? I'm so glad you saw that. On to the next stop, we're going to see a ship right now. Chicken, and there's also seared marlin. You have your salads, you have tall salads, and also coleslaw. Are we ready to get in the sea? Yeah, Look at the sea. Ready? This is gorgeous. Hang on, are we going in together? No, I'll go first. all about isn't it this is the life out of office on oh yeah you know it i love doing things like this with you me too doing all the things doing all the things Set 
nestled into Caribbean life. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, it's a party bus. So we're gonna have it's a, a party, party bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, we wanted to go in all the shops, but they're closed. Oh my God. We've been talking about mooching all day. I know, we wanted to look in these shops, but this one's still open. Best of Barbados gift shop. We love a gift shop. Oh. Right, we are coming back to Britannia. She is a beauty, isn't she? You can see the captain or an officer on the Yes, I thought that. He was just standing in the window, wasn't he? I love, love, love her. So we are finally heading back onto Britannia after a full day out on the catamaran. Everyone's on the balcony. Yeah, everyone's on the balcony. It's just people watching. Yeah, now we're heading back. It's actually about half past five. Ship doesn't leave till half six today. It's or like we have to be back on board by it's half six. Like that. Just starting to get dark. Really nice sea breeze, but still warm. Mm -hmm. oh, this is my favourite holiday time. Yeah, me too. Really lovely. So we're going to go and have nice showers, chill. Uh, have a drink and probably a late dinner today. Yeah. Oh, Britannia! Yay! Showered, changed. This is my dress for this evening. It's an old next dress. I love it so much. I have actually have it in this like red animal print too. We're doing a very casual evening tonight. We're going to the glass house. Yes, that's a nice shirt. I like that. That's a Zara one, isn't it? It's the one your mum picked out for me. It's nice actually. Sometimes people like to see the kind of outfits we wear, like what to pack on a cruise. What do boys wear? What do boys wear? Yes, yeah, so we'll Big show boys. your outfits as we go along. The main thing is what sort of shorts do I wear with it? Well, you can probably wear some sort of nice chino shorts. These ones, khaki kind of. Yeah, they'll work. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I like that. We've just been chilling, looking at the horizon. This is the horizon. This is your little daily news, tells you what time sunrise and sunset is. It tells you the dress code of the day and a little bit about the port. So um, this is a bit about Barbados, obviously. So this is today. On the front, it gives you highlights. Here's our captain. And then it looks like this inside. And these are all the different activities that have been going on today. So they've literally got a bit of everything, to be honest. There's smooth grooves under the stars. There's like a DJ out on the pool bar. Some musicians playing. Brodie's has got something going on at eight o'clock in the we'll pub. Have to get the highlighters out soon. Oh, I've got the highlighters. Here you go. I we love it. Whenever Brogan's editing or doing the little bits that you always see on Instagram, I'm normally sat <laughs> with this going, oh, you know, like at Christmas when you have yeah. all the Christmas films. Yeah, it's, no, it's like looking in your TV guide. Yeah. Yeah, so like, I quite like the sound of this. What's the Caribbean, yeah. Half like past it. nine. So look, you see, we highlight it so we can see and what then we tomorrow, like. We've We've got yeah, where's tomorrow's? tomorrow's? I like the sound of this Jack Ryan guy. Okay, Jack Ryan, he's on at 8 o'clock here. Where is the show? We've got the show at half 10 here. We're doing um, Headliners Theatre Company. We're doing that tomorrow. Okay. Most important thing. Bingo. <laughs> we love the bingo. I personally feel like there is so much choice on a piano cruises holiday. They have so many different music options and venues fun for pretty much everyone in your family they even have kids club which obviously we don't cover things like that because we don't have kids but there are loads of bars we really love the crow's nest we're gonna go there before our dinner tomorrow for sindhu we'll go to the crow's nest before get a salted caramel martini somebody asked me on instagram if we have a drinks package and we actually don't do a drinks package they we've have ne we've, ne we've never, never done, done one it. no now they are available if you want them people do enjoy them and like them we personally just like to have the odd drink here and there as and when we personally don't feel like we drink enough to warrant a drinks package so we don't do one but somebody did ask me earlier they were confused about what's included in terms of food and um, meals so i thought i would also clarify that quickly you get the buffet and the restaurants included so the normal restaurants you can go and sit down that's where we had breakfast this morning you'll either have a sit down time or you can do freedom dining which is what we have and we can come and go as and when we like so sometimes you can request to sit with other people we prefer to sit on our own but it's each to their own you can sort of do what you like we normally end up chatting to people next to us anyway so that's the food so that's all included in terms of the buffet 
and or the restaurant and then they have speciality restaurants so we're going to show you some of the speciality restaurants as we go along in, the, in this vlog and the next one so tonight the glass house will show you is an additional charge so we'll show you how much that is because we will bill it to our room and if we think it's worth it i know that the beach house for example isn't a lot more additionally to do it sindhu is a little bit more that we're doing tomorrow night so it really depends on what is for you you don't have to pay extra to go to these restaurants but i personally do think you get a very good value because the food is really really amazing especially the glass house so i'm really excited about that tonight i would like to wish you all a very warm welcome on board britannia yay this is to advise so this is the atrium they've got a gorgeous singer downstairs her voice is incredible and this is the coffee bar to the left and then this is the glass house to the right. I have absolutely no idea if you're going to be able to see this as it's quite dark. But I'll let you know what we order. But this is the menu in case you want to pause it. Here's the menu on the back. So I want the sliders down here. You can see the prices as well to give you an idea. Okay, for my starter, I'm going to go for the king prawns. And Benji's going to go for a scotch egg. And also we have gone for... Um, oh yeah, we got a wine. Shout out Ollie Smith. We haven't paired it with anything that it goes with. <laughs> we like rose. We're going to be drinking rose. Ollie Smith has designed this menu, hasn't he? Oh, there you go. Really he is a really nice guy. Yeah. So he is a food hero for PNN Cruises. So he's known for like his wine knowledge. We didn't realise, we didn't read this little bit of uh, text at the top here, <laughs> where you can get three for six ninety five, and my king prawns are four twenty five already. King prawns, scotch egg, and the tomato pasto sourdough for our starters. Very excited. Lamb, chicken, and beef little sliders. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Your face. <laughs> so for the desserts, you can do a three-piece. Um, like there's lots of different desserts here. There's actually quite a big menu. It doesn't look it, but they are. And I don't know what to have because I quite like the sound of quite a few things. So this is the very berry that you get three little desserts. I mean, this is perfect. <laughs> I just want everyone to know. Obviously, we would have only had one dessert each, but on the balance of content and showing what they provide, <laughs> we are going to force ourselves. We're going to gonna try it all. So this Gorgeous one, desserts. this one's the um, Japanese one. The food was really nice. So we're just waiting for our bill, so I'll show you what the final price is for that. Because we had start main and dessert, and we had a bottle of wine. There we go. There's the total, thirty-eight eighty-five, which is pretty good for the three courses and the wine. And, we had wine too. And the quality of the food was. Yeah. It was, it, it was so it? good. So yes, would recommend. Right, we're in our pajamas. We're back in our cabin. It's PJs o'clock. <laughs> back in our PJs, and we had a lovely meal. It was we really, really nice. It. We're going to bed tomorrow. We, I'm not setting alarm. We're just going to chill, have breakfast at some point in the morning. My massage at the spa is at half ten, so I'll talk to you more about that. Don't forget to click subscribe if you're enjoying the vlog so far, and give it a like if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. Thought I'd show you the view because it's absolutely incredible when we're at sea. I love it. Oh, steaming up. Brilliant. The camera said no, it's too hot outside. <laughs> I don't know what the temperature is, um, but we have left Barbados and overnight we've been sailing towards Aruba, which is going to be our next stop tomorrow. It's so 27 degrees. Oh. Thank you, babe. 27 <laughs> degrees. Uh, so today's a sea day. It's about 7 a.m. right now. Maybe we'll go to breakfast because I've got a massage at 10.30 this morning. I'm having a hot stone massage, which I'm really looking forward to. I love the spas on board p &O Cruises. They are so beautiful and it blew my mind on the first couple of trips that we did how big the spaces are, how equipped they are, the amount of treatments they offer, everything from like hair and nails, men's grooming as well and then they have the actual spa area where they have jets and a sauna and a steam room and things and then we're going to go play bingo hopefully today, chill, really relax, it's sea days for us are just really a lot of relaxing, maybe we'll play some cards on the balcony, get all dressed up because it's celebration night, go for cocktails at the crow's nest, dinner at Sindhu and then a show to end the night so we're definitely going to want to squeeze in a nap later because it's going to be a long night as we've got the show booked for half past 10 so i'm really looking forward to it it's going to be great um but first of all i'm getting back into bed 
and sticking something on the telly mm -hmm. and chilling. Right, we're at breakfast and we've just ordered eggs. I've got a smoothie again and as you can see I've already devoured half. It's <laughs> so good, the smoothie's so tasty. I just love the fresh orange juice. It's so nice. Yeah. So here's my breakfast that I've ordered. I've just makeshift it and got everything I wanted. And then Benji's got his eggs benedict, sausage, hash brown. Happy boy. Happy boy. So this is what the main restaurant looks like. Everyone's having their breakfast. That was very tasty. I enjoyed that too. Exactly. Nice and full. Start of the day. Exactly. Oh, we wanted yeah. to have a little look in the shop at the Ray-Bans. If there's yeah. any that you quite like. Oh, I like those for me. I quite yeah. like those. Oh, I need you. Oh, they're nice too. I like the thinner sides on these. Yeah, they look quite good. Do you want to see yourself? Look in here. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, I am gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, you were right, well, we were passing the shop and he got himself the sunglasses. I did a thing. <laughs> they do actually have 25% off midway through the cruise, so definitely ask about deals. But it's the day after we get off. We're leaving that day, sadly. <laughs> also, if you're in the Peninsula Club here, let me show you, you get discounts as well. Uh, so these also apply when you buy stuff and get some discounts. I'm not going to film everybody sunbathing, but as I'm sure you can imagine, lots of people are um, in their sunbeds and in the pool and it is a gorgeous day, nice and sunny. Look at that view off the back of the ship as we sail away. This wake is incredible and look out to sea, it's so beautiful. There's lots of people here at the bar, relaxing, having They've a drink. On outside, the outside bar back there. So I'm in the Oasis Spa, I'm in the relaxation room coming in here I can't believe how big this spa area is there are corridors with loads of different rooms treatment rooms obviously they have single and couples rooms beautiful I'm really looking forward to my massage but this is the relaxation zone so they have some beds either side and yeah I'm just gonna wait to meet my therapist and head on in okay so this is the room they've got a shower to the left a dressing gown and then this is the bed and then over here they've got the start stone massage thing i don't think you can fully appreciate but it is it's lovely <laughs> that was amazing oh, it was the most amazing massage i will talk to you more about it when i get back to the room but oh my gosh just absolutely what i needed so relaxing better than i thought i would enjoy it it was just amazing i actually am tempted to book another one i kind of enjoyed it that much i'm gonna go straight into the hydrotherapy suite and find ben she should be in here somewhere I really love it but as you can see it has been very loved so I'm just gonna pick up a new one for my collection because I do use it a lot and then I've also got a little pin badge I already have the others but I don't have this one I thought that was quite cute yes yeah. so we put that in the collection they, they don't have a Britannia pin and I wish they did if anyone from merchandise is watching <laughs> like a Britannia pin yeah that's all I'm picking up today so the bag is 20 pound and the pin badge is six nice. I'm gonna put that on our room and use some cruise credit <clears throat> All right, we are just in the atrium because we've ordered some pina coladas. As it is now half past 12. We're ready for our first cocktail of the day. And I just want to tell you about my treatment because it was absolutely incredible. I would go as far as saying that could be the best treatment I've ever had, ever. And I've had a lot of spa treatments. The pressure, the music, the smells, the like, hot flannel she put on my feet at the beginning and the end she did a little temple massage she used a dry brush on my legs at the beginning as well to exfoliate them and it felt so nice and on my arms um so she didn't do my face or my stomach really loved it i'm actually tempted to look at um some of the other treatments but they do so many different ones they've got a bamboo massage deep tissue muscle massage swedish massage they have elemis product it's actually backed double-sided 
<laughs> Did we just catch you having a little pina colada dance over there? Where do you want to have lunch today? We will eat on board today. Really? Funny that, because we're at sea. Nice sushi bar out there. <laughs> Very fresh. <laughs> oh, it's really quiet in here for lunch. Hello. Hi. Hi. Perfect. Thank you. How romantic is this? I love it. Lunch with a view. I'd love it if we just had some dolphins. Oh, that like would that. be incredible. Keep an eye out. But we've got our menu, so we're going to have a little look at what we've got for lunch. They do an express lunch where they do like a soup, a baguette, and oh, they even do a dessert, don't they? Yeah, so this sounds nice. Yeah. They also have lasagna you want a bigger lunch. We've got some lighter bites down here as well. Oh, that sounds nice, that salad. They've got pasta as well. There's like a bit of everything and they even have desserts. Mm. And this is included, just as an FYI, and you can have starter main and dessert. I know that everyone does their sea days super differently and it is actually really warm outside and we're just um, chilled and relaxing inside today. By the pools upstairs, they have like a grill. So they do like pizza slices, they do like burgers, hot mm -hmm. dogs, chips. It's also included. Yeah, so I think that's probably for families, isn't it? So or just, buffet. Yeah. Yeah. If you were just by the pool, you wouldn't want to come down in your wet clothes, would you? All right, we've gone for sweet potato uh, soup for starters, both of us, with some bread. Mmm. Really good. That is delicious. Oh, it's quite homey. Okay, we've got chicken burgers for lunch, which is just what we need and want. Mm. They look good. Y y Yorkshire. Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, Yorkshire curd tart. <gasps> that sounds nice, like a custard tart, basically. Mm. And here's mine, the brownie. I think we should half see half Do you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorbet's good. Oh, and the burgers were amazing, by the way. Yeah, we enjoyed the burgers. Mmm. It feels like dinner time. I feel so naughty having a dessert at lunch. <laughs> lunch was so good. I really enjoyed that. I'm full up. I didn't know what I wanted, but it turned out I wanted exactly that. <laughs> it was a bit of a random mix, but it was nice. Yeah, soup was nice, nice and homey. Chicken burger. burger. The chicken burger. Burger. Burger was just exactly what I needed. Good. I'm glad. Um, we're gonna whip back to the room and get our swimwear now, and then we're gonna go and show you the retreat. So we're currently up at the retreat, which is an adults only area. The Serenity Bar and Pool is also adults only, and you walk straight through and they have this area. It's an additional fee, but you're guaranteed like a much quieter experience. They have food here as well. You can order drinks, you can have tea and coffee. Um, they have towels, don't they? And they have little hot tub so normally I think if you were to do the retreat you'd come all day you'd spend yeah, the whole day here the day, wouldn't you? yeah but they've given us passes just to show you and tell you it's here basically so it's here the options here we actually booked it on our owner we, we, did. we did actually do it on our owner and we really liked it so I think we're gonna dip in the hot tub yeah what do you reckon okay dip in yeah okay. I don't know if I want to be in a hot tub on a hot day but Benji said it's cool so oh oh yeah it's quite nice All right, we're going into the live lounge, which is where they're hosting bingo today. And we're gonna buy our bingo cards in here. I'm just to show you that they sell this non-alcoholic cocktail. It's called the Bakewell or something, and it tastes amazing. I had it on board Iona, and so sweet and yummy, so. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the live lounge. Are we all having a good day? Six and seven, 67. Three and two, 32. Four and one, 41. Let's check, that is a correct. Don't give a round of applause to our winner there. I'm gonna check there's another claim. It looks like there is another one over at the back there. So we are gonna check so this one as well. <laughs> All right, so we didn't win bingo, which was very disappointing, but it was good fun. We've just come back to the room. Benj is ironing his shirt for formal night. And I just wanted to come outside. I love watching the sea well that was awkward my next door neighbor is on the balcony but when i come out onto the balcony i always feel like the ocean is just so big and beautiful and wide and it's amazing how we can just sail and while we're sailing we've got all of this on board all the entertainment the restaurants 
like there's just so much to do and see and people to meet and I loved being there this afternoon. We actually did it with Amy and Sam who are in our group. Some of you may know Amy already. She actually loves Disney as well. So we have a lot in common. So yeah, here's a little selfie of us playing. We sent it to our group chat earlier. Sadly, none of us won, but it was really good fun. Uh, it costs 15 pound for the value pack where you get the full big one, but you, they go down in sizes and um, the bingo dabbers cost two pounds. But anyway, had a really lovely afternoon and um, now I'm gonna get ready for a formal night. So my hair has dried like a really lovely, curly, naturally curly, wavy look, but I don't feel very glam, like formal night. If it was just a normal night, I would have just left it down like this because it's dried so pretty. Yeah, I just feel a bit too beachy. What I was trying to say is when I come out here, I sit on the balcony once I'm ready, I'll read a bit of my book and watch the world go by. It is the most amazing feeling. You don't feel like you're amongst crowds of people even though you know that there's like two or three thousand people on board. It never feels busy, if that makes sense. And I just love, 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 love watching the world go by. It's one of my favorite things ever. Benji's doing his own thing over there. <laughs> just about to see you. I've got a little speaker playing. I've got my champagne. I'm in my piano cruises robe and I'm gonna do my hair. Let's go. Right, I am all ready for our formal night celebration. I've worn this dress for every single celebration night. Well, since 2019, I wore it on my first cruise in Greece and um, I've worn it on every cruise since and it's just become my cruise dress. So it was from Zara a very long time ago, obviously. And I've just got black little heels on and it's really pretty on the back. If I can try and show you, it's all lacy. So yeah, it's one of those little back dresses that just serves me so well. This tie is so sweet. It's Can I show them? It's little just sailboats on it. Little sailboats, so cute. It is 20 to seven and dinner at Sindhu is at seven. And our tradition that we like to do normally is to go to the crow's nest and uh, have a cocktail and they have a vanilla and salted caramel martini, which is absolute perfection. But uh, yeah, we're running a little bit tight because it took me a long time to do my hair and my makeup. So this is Sindhu. It's a really lovely restaurant and it's an Indian restaurant and all our group are here. Everyone's all dressed up and I'm just sat in there with Benj. Theatre. Just while it's empty, I thought I'd show you. It's absolutely wonderful. Love it. Okay, the theatre is filling up, and the lady that checked us in said to go for these seats, which are slightly raised, so you can see these are all sort of the same height. So, yeah, right down here. I'm just waiting for Ben to join me. So, I've eaten at Sindhu a few times, and what I will say is that the menu changes. So, it's so actually reserved. We've eaten at Sindhu before, but that was a different menu, completely different food. I really liked my food. I thought it was really nice. All three of mine were incorrect. I really, really nice. Mm, I, I actually had just, I had the Sindhu speciality plate, didn't I? They did me a chicken korma because I don't do anything spicy. That was amazing. The beef starter was the good. Starter was nice. And we had lots of wine and really good company. So this is the show we're seeing. It's the Headliners Theatre Company. And it's called On the Horizon. <laughs> come back from the show Benji said it was his favorite one it was it out of was. the headliners theater shows we've seen yes. it was just singing and dancing Love which sounds quite simple but it really was really well done it was 40 minutes they're all very good and um, actually we've seen some of those singers yeah, we're before starting to recognize them now, we do we? recognize them they have incredible voices mm -hmm. um, but it was a really good way to end our formal night see a show and then, as we're walking back we saw in the atrium, yeah. there was another, uh, another band. Yeah, what, who were they called? Join our resident Caribbean party band. Yeah, 
Exile. Exile. They were re we it's, really enjoyed them. It must be them, right? <laughs> So tomorrow we've booked a private guys. island, which we'll talk to you and show you more tomorrow. Um, but we're gonna go to bed now, so we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I've just woken up at 7 a.m. I thought I'd sneak out the room while Benji was still sleeping and go and look at the view, maybe the sunrise. We are coming into Aruba in about 30 minutes, so I thought I'd go and have a little look. All right, it looks like we're just pulling into the port here in Aruba. Look at that sunshine. Absolutely stunning. What an amazing place. It is so warm that my camera keeps steaming up. I don't know how hot it is. It must be around 30 degrees, but it's only 7 a.m. and it is just gorgeous. So actually, this is a nice view of the adults only area up here. Let me show you. So this is the adults only pool, which is lovely. There's loads of um, space for beds. So they pull out all the beds around here. And it's got a nice little pool. I'd love to get into that at some point. Um, in fact, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Go for a little morning swim. I just can't believe we're here and this is what I'm doing today. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Just feel so lucky. The coast is incredible. So you can see the waves crashing here. I don't know if it's like quite shallow at that bit. The actual island looks so gorgeous. I don't think it's doing justice, but it's so pretty. All the little houses, tons of palm trees. I'm so excited. So in terms of what we're doing today, I didn't have any of the shore experiences booked via p and Cruises and we were just gonna use it as a day to go and explore the town. However, when I was doing a bit of research into the best things to do in Aruba, kept coming up that we could see flamingos. Every time I was looking at Aruba and things to do, lots of different locations offer the chance to see flamingos. And the one that stood out to me the most was a hotel called the Renaissance, where you can basically pay for a day pass to access a private island where flamingos live and you can go and see them and take photos. You also get lunch and a drink. So I booked that, but you can only book it on the Saturday before for the following week for Monday to Sunday. So on Saturday, a couple of days ago, I booked it. It was around 220 pound, I think, for both of us. And that does include a lunch and a drink, like I said. And the shuttle water taxi uh, goes every 15 minutes. They open from 7 a.m. till I think it might be around 7 p.m., but we have to be back on board by half five anyway. So yes, I'm really looking forward to it. I just thought it'd be an amazing way to spend the day, really chilled. We will do a little bit of exploring too, because Benji loves looking through the shops, but that's the plan. I'm really, really excited. I think it'll be a really lovely day and I can't wait to show you the Flamingo. So I will leave a link to the website. I booked it via in case you're interested, but all the other shore experiences that we are doing are bookable by p &O Cruises. This is the only one I booked on my own terms I guess um, and they were really really chilled about that and that's the greatest thing about doing a cruise you can really do it your way you can do as little or as much as you like lots of people stay on board and they don't get off others like to maximize the day and do loads and loads of things so it really is totally up to you I like to do kind of a bit of everything sometimes I like doing a full day excursion like we did in Barbados and other days we have a half day so it's from like 10 to 1 or whatever so we will show you as we go along but if you are interested in booking short experiences I have showed this before but here's just sort of a little um, example of what mine looked like before we came out I was able to have a little look and see the different shore experiences that are available it gives you more information tells you the price and you are able to book before you come out but if you're not sure you can also come to the shore experiences team that are on board and book on your cruise as well but I really like the fact we could pre-book some things so I booked a couple of bits here and there and like I showed you at the beginning the tickets for those shore experiences arrived in our cabin so yes really really excited okay so we are heading down to the exit to the gangway <laughs> the gangway thank you yeah, yeah, babe yeah, I got the to the gangway so this is what it looks like when you leave they scan your bags when you come in and then it tells you all the guests have to be on by 5 30 so welcome to Aruba oh I love the still bag have not been to Aruba before. This is our yeah, first we are time. first date at Aruba. Oh, at a restaurant called Aruba in Bournemouth, but this <laughs> is the real thing. All right, on first impressions, it is so gorgeous. Really nice. Oh, Britannia looks amazing. You could definitely just spend the day mooching around this yeah. uh, area. 
because there's so much. Okay, so you go past Lucy's and it's like a little marina here. And I think this is where we get the boat from. Flamingos already. Look! Ah! This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at them. All right, so we've got a little spot in the shade right now. This is the island. These cabanas are sold out and they're $485 if you wanted one anyway. So we're going to skip on that. But we're here. Flamingos are over there, it's just chilling, it's so fun. All right, we're gonna try and get some good photos of these beautiful creatures. Look at them standing on one leg. Oh my God, it's so fun. Look, it's so cute. We're getting in the sea. Robin time. We call it oh, bobbing when we, so nice. we don't go swimming, we just bob. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're just so happy, you feel like you could it cry. Real, it? <laughs> oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I swear the water's really oh. buoyant as well. You, you know said I mean? that last yeah. time. There's like a higher salt content or something, I don't you know. Just float better. I'm standing on some seaweed, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't even want to stand on the sand, I don't like the seaweed. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Love you. This is such a good day already. <laughs> and then, yeah. flamingos, and then bobbin, yeah. some cocktails. Cocktails, and yeah. And then mooching. Lunch. Lunch. And, and then mooching. And then mooching, and then maybe another cocktail and some more lunch. Yeah. So also, second, second lunch. I want to go on the other side of the island. I don't know what they've got over there. Iguanas. Ah. So we've been chilling on our sun loungers. It feels like paradise, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Even just like even if the flamingos weren't here, just the, the waves lapping up the shore. Stunning. So now we're just going to walk over to the other side where they have more beach, more right, area. Okay, the beach over this way. okay. Oh, we've got a shop. And we're going to get some lunch because our lunch and our drink is included. In oh wow, but there's the fun pelican. <laughs> oh wow, look, look how many there are. Oh my gosh, look at them all. A yeah, they freak me out. <laughs> they are such lovely creatures actually. It does say up here that they're very friendly and harmless and they're very proud of having us on this beautiful island and they come out, at our lunch and munch time is at noon. Um, on these steps, we are vegetarians and we only meet, eat greens. They must get fed here, they must know yeah. that that's where they come. No, I actually prefer this, oh, I think. Oh yeah, that's nice, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really good. cool. That is nine dollars. Benji's just found these for twelve dollars. These we've, gorgeous little shot glasses. We've been looking for some nice ones for a while, haven't we? We have. And they come in a little box, and they're Caribbean specific rather than just a Ruba. Cause yeah, that's nice. Got a bit of everything on it. Love it. We'll get those. Well, that was a really nice mooch. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this for a lunch spot. This is absolutely dreamy. Wow. I can't cope. This is amazing. This is a bit of us. This is a bit of us. All right, Ben's just gone to the bathroom. I'm going to sit down and pick some lunch. So I'm not sure if you can see the menu all that well on camera. Is it showing up? I know you can pause this if you want to have a little look and see if it's something you'd like. And we get a drink, any drink, any food. Benji's got the ribs. With uh, Cajun potato wedges. Oof. And I've got a Reuben sandwich. That looks which very nice. looks good with some chippies and we've got more cocktails and this is of you oh my gosh he's chilling on my dress he's had some snacks in your orange <laughs> he's brought an orange to me <laughs> all righty we have just got dressed and we are leaving flamingo island renaissance beach area it has been such a nice time but it is so so hot and you can see i'm very red so we're not going to sit out and do much sunbathing or anything like that um, but obviously you could totally just spend the whole day here it's just a little bit warm for us isn't it yes oh you need to rub in the sun cream We've seen the flamingos we had a good time we've got some great photos 
Did you love so it? It's so surreal. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen them in, in person like that. Yeah. What's this all this on the show? Santana shirt sweat. Oh my gosh, that was a lovely little boat ride, but we're both still so hot. So, when we came down here earlier, we noticed there was a Starbucks. This is such a bougie Starbucks. Look at it. Love it. So they don't have acai, but they do have the dragon fruit one, which I don't think either of us have had, but a lot of people have told me that it's really nice. It's like a Christmas cup. Oh my word. Sorry. How have we not had that before? It's like kind of sour. You know, like the Robinsons push up ice lollies. Or ice pop things, yeah. And then anyone used to hold it in their hands and melt it and just drink it. It tastes exactly like that. Oh, yeah. It's good. We're having a mooch around the mall. There's a Michael Kors and a Kate Spade. And I've just bought the loveliest beach towel. I'll try and show you later. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> We're not really looking for like the big brands. Here. We want all the, no. like, the little knickknack shops, don't we? Yes, yeah, so we need to come out of here. We're just having a look and a lot of these shops are very, very similar. So this sort of area right outside the cruise terminal, they're all the same. <laughs> but we are looking for a pin badge. Ah. Uh, we're about to get back on Britannia. Right here they have an area where guests can sit and have a drink. If you're feeling a bit dehydrated. Oh, I wouldn't mind some cold water to be honest. Did we have a nap for an hour? No, we blinked and 40 minutes later we unblinked. Okay, got this new towel today. It was <laughs> quite expensive, but I love me a really nice beach towel. And it's a good quality beach towel as well. It's got the most gorgeous design on it. It says greetings from the Caribbean Sea. Look. Oh, through the Caribbean. There's loads of the islands on there. Look, so we've been to Antigua, we've been to St. Kitts, uh, we've been to St. Lucia, we've got Barbados on there, and we're going to do these ones. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was so lovely. I love, love, love the design. So I got this in the shop opposite where the Starbucks was. There you go, that's the brand, in case you're interested. So I just had to show you my new towel because I love it. So what we haven't showed you yet is a sail away party on Piano Cruises. We love to do the sail away. It's a tradition where people sort of gather up on the deck and literally watch as we leave the island and say goodbye. So we sail away to where we've been for the day and they normally have some live music and we get a cocktail. And it's just a really nice way to sort of round off the day. <laughs> It's time to leave Aruba and I think we might get rained out if I'm honest. It's a bit drizzly, isn't it? It's a little drizzly, which is crazy because it was just all day. We've been so lucky, it's been so hot to the point that we had to come back and have a nap. <laughs> We're going for dinner in one of the main restaurants tonight. It's included in your cruise, and so we thought it'd be nice. We've shown you a couple of speciality restaurants. We thought it'd be nice tonight to show you what you could get for dinner. We showed you lunch, we've shown you breakfast, so I thought it'd be good to show you dinner as well in this first vlog. And we're actually going for dinner with someone else in our group tonight, so there'll be three of us, um, the PR that very kindly invites us and takes us. So we're really looking forward to having a dinner with her. Don't think there's any entertainment that's taking our fancy tonight, so I think we're just gonna have a chill one. Um, come back to the room. This spot is really not leaving me, is it? So we've just come back from dinner at the Meridian restaurant, which as I said before, is the main restaurant where everything's included. So I'm gonna show you, this was the menu, loads and loads of choices. They uh, also offer starter main and dessert. And then there's also some chef specials and they do wine and you can order drinks and things. So I had the prawn cocktail for starter, which was lovely with a bit of bread i had the goat's cheese roasted tomato and spinach roulade oh it was it looked good it re tasted really good for my main i had salmon and it came with potato and veg and it was absolutely delicious like really nicely cooked a massive piece of salmon and just a really lovely meal like it just honestly i can't believe that it's all included because it's just such lovely quality and the service you get in the restaurant as well was amazing really and then you and Jenny had the fish Cod and chips. And chips. Cod and chips. Really tasty. It really, looked really, really good. Good bit of fish. Mm -hmm. Nice chunk of chips. Yeah. And then we did have some desserts. And we all had panna cotta. We had the panna cotta, which was delicious. What flavour of panna cotta was it? Uh, like a honey? I don't know. It had, honey panna cotta. It had honeycomb and strawberry. Raspberry, like isn't it? Kind of thing, yeah. yeah. And then we also had a little bit of raspberry sorbet. Because we had it the other day. 
for lunch. We were talking about it today, weren't we? It's really nice sorbet. We kept saying, oh, we'll get an ice cream today, we'll get an ice cream, and it just never happened. So mm. that sorbet with dinner. Yeah, so that's what we had. It was a lovely meal. We were there two hours, really nice ambiance in the restaurant. Yeah. It feels like a really lovely, nice restaurant and yeah it doesn't feel like the buffet at all everyone sat down very oh, civilized no, yeah. meal yeah, really like nice. really lovely I feel like the staff as well like the waiters they make it feel so nice we had some like, lovely conversations they always pull your chair out and they'll come around and they'll unfold the nap the, the nap napkin yeah yeah yeah, yeah. On, and your lap. It on your lap and they, they always you serve you over your right shoulder and it's really, really lovely. Mm, I absolutely agree with you. It is nice. So yeah, lovely meal, really enjoyed it. So hopefully that's given you an idea of sort of what you get. Today was just all around amazing seeing those flamingos. I had a great day. It's like a bucket list thing that I didn't even know could be a bucket list thing. It's incredible doing that. <clears throat> Tomorrow we're doing a shore experience in Curacao. So that's where we're heading. Never been to Curacao before. Me, neither no. obviously. So it's a new place for us. So we're gonna do that, show you what that's like, it's half day, four hour experience, so we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But for now, we're gonna get into bed. No entertainment, just chill, read our books. Book time. Book time, chill, and um, yeah, a really great day. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. We had the most amazing time, but I'm gonna save the rest of our trip for part two, which includes Curacao, St. Vincent, Granada, and St. Lucia. So make sure you hit subscribe and don't miss the next one. You can find out more about Piano Cruises in the link below. Leave a nice friendly comment and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.